Tex Johnston was well aware just how lively the Dash 80 was. He saw a need to share this knowledge with the public. Uh, we, Boeing, had the, the first jet airplane, which was going to reduce the size of the world by a factor of two when measured by flight time. Uh, never before in the history of aviation has there been such a gigantic step. I was convinced that uh, that uh, the people should really understand what what the get their attention. In other words, the annual unlimited hydroplane races during Seattle's Sea Fair Week always attracted huge crowds. In 1955, the International Air Transport Association and the Society of Aeronautical Engineers planned to hold their annual meetings in Seattle coinciding with Seafair Week. Boeing Chairman Bill Allen asked Tex to make a test flight on Gold Cup Day with a pass over the Gold Cup course. Tex realized he had a unique opportunity. Aviation people from all over the world would be watching. Telling no one, he planned his own special demonstration of the Dash 80's capability. And I turned to my co-pilot uh, Jim Gannett and uh, said, I'm going to roll this uh, airplane over the Gold Cup course. And uh, his uh, mouth fell open and uh, he said, Jeez, uh, that's uh, do you think you'll uh, get fired? And I said, well, possibly, but I don't think so. Uh, Tex had no announced plan, nor was there any consideration of making a barrel roll over the over the uh, uh, the speedboat course on Lake Washington that day at all. In fact, he didn't have a minimum crew. I did a 180 degree turn, came back down over the water, pulled up, established a climb, put in full aileron, did a nice 1G roll, and came out in level flight. And I knew that no one would believe what they had seen, so I turned around and came back and repeated the same thing on the westerly heading. I happened to be out at the course. I was not on one of the boats, but I came out in the course and I saw him make the barrel rolls and uh, I was dumbfounded. And I was as close to the program as anyone was. So uh, he changed sort of forever the image, let's say, of the Boeing Company and uh, of the Dash 80 with that one maneuver. Because of course it got in all the newspapers. The airplane was not an aerobatic airplane, but as I say, he wasn't taking any chance with the structure of the airplane. He had to answer to Bill Allen, who was furious. He was absolutely furious. He, uh, he felt uh, Tex had endangered the whole program. And I explained to him how the maneuver is conducted, that it's a 1G maneuver, that the airplane never knows it was upside down, that I wouldn't jeopardize the equipment. You've got to keep 1G on it all the time. To, you can't uncover the fuel pumps, uh, hydraulic pumps, oil pumps. You know. I, I, I perfected aerobatics years and years ago, and that's, uh, it's a one, as I say, a 1G maneuver. And Mr. Allen's comment was, you know that, now we know it, but just don't do it anymore. And that's the only uh, thing that I ever heard about it. There were some problems that Tex had to answer for, but as it became evident that Tex had done something he wasn't supposed to do, but he had sort of made the program a lot better than it had been and a lot more advertised than it had ever been. Uh, 